Yo, 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 yo. Oh yeah, check it out. We got a package from Japan from Book Off. Let's see what we got. Let's open this shit up. Ja -ja it's Dance Dance Revolution Party Collection for the PlayStation 2. Wow! Yeah, I've been trying to get a good deal on this one for a while. And I finally got a good deal. Wow! There's a couple of reasons why I wanted this game. First of all, the first reason is most Japanese DDR games I play using these cute little devices right here. But there was two games I couldn't get to work. DDR Max and Party Collection. The only difference between those and all the other games is that those two use CDs and all the other games use DVDs. I can get other CD games to work just fine for me USB, so I actually don't know why the two dancing games didn't work. Anyway, I modded my PS2 to be region free, I bought the game so I can play the game, and now my DDR PS2 collection is complete. Kind of. Sniff test. Stinky. The second reason I wanted to get it is DDR Extreme has so many important iconic songs from the series and the Japanese PS2 version does a good job at representing a lot of that. But it's still missing a few songs that should have been there. Where's Butterfly? Where's Captain Jack? Where's Doobity Doobity Doo? And then other ones. Dance Dance Revolution! They're here. In DDR Party Collection, baby. Let's D -D Released in December 2003, just two months after the Extreme Port, you can get a special edition that came in a bucket. It's got a decent amount of songs that were in the arcade version of Extreme, but not in the PS2 port. Probably for space reasons. Extreme was already loaded to the max with over a hundred songs. It has some random, random songs, songs that were already in other games, and even a couple exclusive new songs. Yes, it's the song list is pretty short overall, but some of these joints, it's the only game they show up in, so I gotta have it in the collection. Yeah, I know, I should just buy a controller adapter and play Step Mania, but I like playing my PS2 games. Leave me in my obsolete technology alone! Damn it! Anyway... So I'm playing the game, and after my first set of songs, the game froze. I tried it again, and the game froze. This is ridiculous. The disc looks good. How can this be happening? So I went and did a little research, and I found some Raiders who were having the same issue. OP said they fixed it by deleting the save file, so I tried that, and it didn't do anything. But I had my own idea. This game has special Christmas features during the months of November and December. Could the game be looking for my system's date and time, and failing because the battery is dead, and I don't give a fuck, and I don't feel like taking it apart to change it? That would be crazy, if true. I've never heard of any game doing that, but fuck it. I set the PS2's date and time, tried it again, and it actually works now. Cool tip, if you got a dead battery and you leave your PS2 plugged in, it keeps the time. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. DDR Party Collection. It's cool. I like it. And I own it now. Oh, wow.